Meanwhile, Western leaders, including U.S. President Joe Biden, Secretary of State Antony Blinken in Lithuania, a top military officer, have warned that Russia could be on the brink of invading Ukraine amid an apparent failure to withdraw troops from its side of the border and accusations of a possible false flag operation in Ukraine's east. While Biden gave the warning at the White House, Secretary of State Blinken spoke at the UN Security Council meeting, saying he had sent a letter to Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov proposing a meeting in person in Europe next week. We have reason to believe that they are engaged in a false flag operation. They have an excuse to go in. Every indication we have is they're prepared to go into Ukraine, attack Ukraine. Is your sense that this is going to happen now? Yes. Not, I, my sense this will happen in the next several days. Look at this thing. Are there any what? diplomatic paths still available? Yes, the there is. There's a clear diplomatic path. That's why I asked Senator, uh, Senator <laughs> Secretary Blinken to go to the United Nations and make his statement today. He'll lay out what that path is. I've laid out a path to Putin as well uh, on, I think, Sunday. And so there is a path. There is a way through this. They have enough uh, troops and enough um, capabilities to launch a full-fledged invasion of Ukraine with uh, very little or uh, no warning time. And that is what makes the situation so uh, dangerous. So it has to be a meaningful withdrawal, a meaningful de-escalation. That is what we are waiting for. So far, we have not seen that. But of course, this can change. And that's exactly what we are hoping and working for, that uh, we uh, see that Russia actually does what they are saying, that uh, we see a real, significant, meaningful reduction of other Russian troops in and around Ukraine. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.